Your prayers, sweet are your prayers that calls me from a world of care. And this me heart, my father's soul, make all my wants, and we she is no And grief my soul as I will find relief and hold a gift that tempts me by the Return, sweet are your prayers. Amen. Amen. In Psalm 34, I read from verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In verse 3, he said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Tonight, we want to appreciate God. We want to give all the glory to God. Look at the journey so far. Look at all that God has accomplished in our life. Continue to think about the service of this morning. Look at what the blessing God of heaven bestowed upon our lives through the Sad Scripture, through the minister of God, through the message. We want to say, Father, thank you, O Lord. Let's open our mouth to begin to appreciate God. God is preparing us for that glorious marriage supper of the Lamb. Let's open our mouth and begin to thank the Lord tonight. Let's give him all the praises. Open your mouth and praise God this night. This is not a silent prayer. It's a time for us to pray. It's a time for us to really seek the face of God. It's a time to say, Father, thank you. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all the praises. Let's appreciate God once again. For all the brethren, all our leaders, all our pastors, beginning from the general to pretending of the church. Thank God for all our sweet messiahs, all our leaders, all our district pastors, all our district pastors, all our district pastors, all our location pastors, all the satellite pastors, all the outdoor all the leaders of all our missionaries all over the countries. We want to say God, thank you very much, O Lord, for all that you have done. We are grateful unto you. We are grateful unto you. We are grateful unto you, God. We are grateful unto you. Almighty God, we praise your name tonight. Almighty God, we appreciate you tonight. Almighty God, we exalt your name tonight. Almighty God, we give you all the glory. Lord, we Father, give you all the honor. We give you all the praises, O God. Thank you very much, O Lord. Thank you for what you are doing in our lives, in our lives, O God. Thank you for the church of God. You said, upon this church I build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against me. Oh, my God, God, everlasting Father, so. Holy Lord, Father, we thank you. Holy Father, we praise you. Lord, we magnify your name, O God. Bless be your name, O God. Worship our praise, O Lord. Jesus, glory, We are praying. Amen. That's the vastness of the Lord never sees it. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Oh, great is thy faithful 
darkness, O long, breath is the thing for them, O Lord, I stand fast, long. All the Lord never sees them. His mercy is never come to an end. They are new every morning. New every morning, great is the faithfulness, O oh Lord, hallelujah, great is the faithfulness. We want to bless the name of the Lord once again for what God has prepared to do in our midst tonight. Tonight, God is going to touch everyone. We are going to receive a supernatural touch of God upon our life. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to say, Father, thank you once again for what you have started. Already showers of blessings are coming down. Showers of renewal is coming down. Showers of revival is already coming down. Let's begin to appreciate God because tonight is going to be a night of spectacular miracle in our lives. Open your mouth and begin to praise God and say, God, thank you so much, O God. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we thank you. Almighty God, we appreciate you, God. Thank you for tonight, O God. A night of signs and wonders, a night of power, a night of glory, a night of might. A night you are going to turn every one of us around. A night you are going to revive us. A night you are going to refresh. A night you are going to roll away all the problems, all the obstacles, all the hindrances. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, we say thank you. God will say thank you. Righteous God will say thank you, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, we praise you. Almighty God, we appreciate you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I read from the book of First Timothy chapter 4. 1 Timothy chapter 4. Please turn your Bible with me. We are going to pray tonight, brethren. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, I want to read verses 1 and 2. And it said, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving it to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. I read from Second Timothy chapter three again. Second Timothy chapter three. I read from verse one. These know also that in the last days, perilous times, perilous times, dangerous time, a time of difficulties, a time of challenges. A time of, uh, you know, agony. He said, perilous time shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, and on and on. Look at verse 5. He said, having a form of godliness. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. We want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to call upon the Lord. Remember the word of Jesus? He said, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall once go. We want to ask God and say, Lord, look into my life once again tonight, O God. Lord, in any way, the spirit of the last days, 
He's trying to catch up with our spirit man. He's trying to catch up with our hearts. He's trying to catch up with our, our, even with our family members. We want to pray tonight and say, God, it is a time that will like break everyone tonight. Every yoke, every spirit of the last day, oh Lord, tonight subdue it and totally remove it far away from us. And so open our mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. We want to ask the Lord and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, Lord, don't allow the spirit of the last day to catch up with my inner man, to catch up with my spirit man. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The time we are living in is a very dangerous time. Many are backsliding. Many are going away from the Lord. Many are not taking the things of God serious. Many are not even serious with prayer. Many are not even serious with the word of God. Many are not serious in the service of God. We want to ask God and say, God, every form of the, every spirit of the last day, trying to do in our hearts. We reject it tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The spirit that wouldn't want us to follow the Lord, the spirit that wouldn't want us to serve God, the spirit that wouldn't want people to pray. And people are getting colder and getting weary and getting tired instead of praying unto God they are more morning. We want to ask God and say, God, take it far away from every spirit of the last day. Oh Lord, remove them out of our life to man. Pour this out of our life Oh God, pour this out of our spirit, man. Oh God, pour this out of every one of us tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Then you need to pray for yourself. He let him that think it is time to take it less before. We have for let him that think it is time to take it less before. Open your mouth and begin to pray for yourself tonight. Let's open the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, we come tonight to God of heaven. Begin to kiss you and everything. That is very strange, oh God. All the strange character, all the strange behavior, all the strange attitude, all the strange language. We want to pray and say, God, take them far away from our life tonight, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, oh God. Righteous God, the time has come that to work upon our hearts, that to work upon our spirits, upon our soul. Almighty God, every strange attitude, strange behavior, strange attitude, and my Father God. Remove them far away from our lives, oh God, I'm asking my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, that to put every life once again, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible tells us, it says, seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto us. I know we want, we want the yoke to be broken. I know we want God to provide for us. I know we want God to bless us in one area or the other. But he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We want to pray to God and say, God, Lord, renew the vision of heaven in my soul. Renew that vision, that vision, that vision we used to have in those days. We are so conscious of God, conscious of heaven, conscious of the rapture, conscious of the word of God. We don't want to offend God. We don't want to do anything that will make God to be angry with us. Why not now? We want to pray and say, God, bring back that consciousness into our heart to God. We want to be conscious of God. The fear of God to dominate in our heart once again. As it used to be in the days gone back, please open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight and say, God, put your consciousness once again upon our hearts. We want to be conscious of the presence of God. We want to be conscious of the glory of God. We want to be conscious of the power of God. We want to be conscious of the word of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Where is the fear of God in the heart of people now? People come, people can do anything and they are not afraid of God any longer. Open your mouth and begin to and say, God, put your consciousness in our hearts. Let the fear of God dominate in our hearts, in our lives, in our spirit, in our soul, in our homes, in our family, in the church of the living God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Are people still conscious of God any longer? 
Our people stay conscious of the presence of God. Let's open our mouth and cry to God and say, God, oh Lord, do it once again, oh God. Renew that vision of heaven once again upon our heart, oh God. That glorious vision of heaven. Mighty God, begin to release upon our heart, oh God. Even tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, everlasting Father, may there be restoration of the consciousness of God in our soul, of, of the consciousness of God in our hearts, of the consciousness of God within and without the God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, do it again upon our lives. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. The word of God tells us, He says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, over me. For sin shall not have dominion over us. Do you know that sin is overpowering many people today? Many people have been overpowered by sin, secret sin. Sin in the earth. The Bible says that the thought of foolishness is sin. And many things are actually, are actually taking place on the ground. We want to pray and say, God, oh Lord, don't allow sin to dominate in my life. Lord, help me. Give me grace that sin will not dominate in my life, will not dominate in my family, will not dominate in our church. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Look at Anglican church. Look at Methodist church. Look at all these that have gone ahead of us. They now promote gay marriage every year. We want to ask God and say, God, don't allow sin to dominate in our heart, oh God. Don't allow evil to dominate in our life, oh God. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great on the earth and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. Then we need to cry to God and say, God, oh Lord, help us in this end time, in this last day. The trumpet will soon sound. The rapture will soon take place. Everything will soon be over. We want to cry to God and say, God of heaven, oh God, help me that sin will not dominate in my heart to God. Sin will not, will not have its place in our hearts, in our thoughts, in our motives, in our conduct, in our character, open your mouth and cry to God tonight. Let's call upon the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, help us once again, oh God. Be great to live a righteous land. Be great to live a holy land. Be great to live to please God. Be great to walk with God. To walk side by side with God every day, every time. Only Father was taken, begin to grant upon that grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God and first came and Father God, oh Lord, help me. Almighty God, help me that sin will not dominate in my heart, oh God. Sin will not dominate in my own, in my family, oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God. Oh Lord, be great to live a righteous and a holy life. Be great to live to please to my Father God. Blessed God, grant unto us once again, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Almighty God, help us once again, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 We want to pray once again, brethren. Apostle Paul made us to understand in Ephesians chapter 5. And he told us there, he said, Christ is coming for a glorious church. He's coming for a glorious church. Not having spots or wrinkles or blemish or any such thing, but that it should be holy and that without blemish. Look at our churches, brethren. Look at our district churches, brethren. Look at the caliber of people that we have there. Look at the caliber of children and the youth that we have there. Look at the adults. Look at the workers. Look at the language of people. Look at the character. Look at the attitude. Today, you will see them in the Sunday service. Monday, you will not see them. Thursday, we will not see them. And it appears as if they are just playing religion. And they say we are preparing for the coming of the Lord. We want to ask God tonight. We want to pray to God and say, God, oh Lord, make your church glorious. Oh Lord, every, every, every sport, every abominable idols, 
every defilement in the life of the members of the church. Oh God, once again, the time has come. Pause your church once again, oh God, and make the church ready for the rapture. The time is actually very short. Brother, we need to call upon the Lord tonight that God and oh God begin to walk upon our lives, walking upon every one of our lives, upon the heart of the children, upon the heart of the youth and the adult brothers and sisters, upon the heart of the workers and the leaders, and even the pastors. We want to ask God and say, God, make us ready for the coming of the Lord, oh God. We want to be ready, oh God of heaven, help us. Oh Lord, help us once again, oh God, so that that day will not come upon us on our way. Open your mouth and pray to God. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, oh God, help us to be ready for the coming of the Lord, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Before I round up, before I hand over to Pastor Yomi, we are going to pray for this um, global crusade that is coming up this Thursday, 22nd of July, and it's going to run through all to the 27th of this month. We want to pray. We knew what God did at the Divine Connection program just last month. It was a glorious moment. The Lord liberated souls. Many souls were saved. Many bachelors were restored. Those who are in danger, they were liberated. They lost, you know, healed the people. Yokes were broken. And so many other miracles that took place left and right. We want to cry to God. We want to say, God of heaven, oh Lord, the time has come again. This program is tagged. Signs and wonders for the needy. Signs and wonders for the needy. We want to pray and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, in this program, Lord, meet every, every need, oh God. Meet every individual, oh God. Smokers are coming. Drunkards are coming. Backsliders are coming. Fornicators are coming. Adulterers are coming. Various categories of sinners are coming. We want to pray and say, God, in this program, oh God, we seek everyone, oh God, that we attend this program. In the name of Jesus Christ, those who are going to connect online, the power of God, we are them unto salvation. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. It will be a time that God will do wonders, we touch every life, that we transform every heart once again. Open your mouth and call upon them and say, God, visit everyone, oh God, by your mighty power, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, oh Lord, we look up unto you, oh God, particularly concerning this program that is coming, the global crusade, signs and wonders for the needy, oh God, break all the shame of sin, all the yoke of iniquity and righteousness in the life of the people, God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, let it be a time of total emancipation, a time of total liberation. If the Son, therefore, shall make us free, we shall be free indeed. Total liberation. Liberation for everyone. Liberation for every soul. Liberation for every family. Liberation for every individual. Almighty God, those who be bound by the spirit of smoking and drunkenness, womanizing, fornication and Okay. Lord, the time has come, O oh God. Say the captive free, my Father will say again, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what about those who are under the oppression of the devil? The time has come, my Father, God, that will break all the shame, all the fetters of the wicked, O oh God. Let it be broken in the life of this one, O oh God. By the authority of the name of Jesus, by the power of resurrection, O oh God. Say the captive free, will say again, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Christ. We see your church once again, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Sorry, is Pastor Yomi online? Yes, sir. Okay. Please, you can take over now, please. Good evening, sir. Let's continue in the mode of prayer. Before we pray on other points, we want to pray more for the footage of the GS starting on Thursday. The state of here in Delta State 
a Delta One rather, because uh, we now have to overseer now in a single state. It's just a new development. And so the state overseer, the one at the headquarters now, Delta One, and gathered us yesterday, and they linked up the other brother in various regions through via Zoom. And he said something. He said something. In fact, the workers' meeting yesterday was basically because of the GS program. And he corrected a lot of things, and that's what we want to pray about now. And the issue of whenever you are having program, and then you find outsiders getting miracles, getting intervention, and you find our own people. And then, and he told us yesterday, he said it was like we are not seeing the problem. We are not seeing it. Not seeing the problem. Nothing. And then he told us. The miracle, I got miracle in the last program. This is Obasia. Somebody who has been in the world for years upon years upon years. But there was something he told us. Uh, what happened to him and all of that. And he took decision and God intervened in the last program. And he challenged us so much that we have to face our own life. We are going to go before God. We have plenty of problems in the church, people like church. Many people are going to pay so tough. Outsiders will be getting miracles. People will know nothing, nothing, nothing about the Bible. They will come and get. And then you find that people, their papa and their mama, and it's like, oh, it's like we are not seeing the problem. Today, the signs and wonder will be real in our own life. It will be a We refuse to be spectator. We refuse to be conductor. We refuse to just tell people all about the, the so, thing, and we ourselves are excluded. We will not be excluded. We want to be God, member of this platform. As many who are going through one pain or the other, God will visit them this time. God! Amen. God! Mighty God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, great God, everlasting Father, God, we come to you once again, oh Lord. Lord, we refuse to be spectators in all our progress. We refuse to be spectators just sitting down while the outsiders we come, catch the ministry and go. Almighty God, we come as come, my Father God. Lord, in the fullness of your power, Almighty God, that you so reach out to those who seek it on God by the power of the Holy Ghost, oh Lord. Almighty God, that you see my Father once again, oh God. We cannot sit and be come and be and be spectators and be conductors, conducting others, bringing other people and yet we are not getting the miracle, my father. Almighty God, and not is a lot of nursing problems, nursing a lot of challenges in our lives. Oh God, we want the solution, oh God. Mighty God, arise once again, oh God, and show us your mercy, my father. Oh God, and solve those problems in every life, my father. God, mighty God. God, I'm asking, oh God, in the name of Jesus, every youth, every sickness, every affliction of the enemy, Almighty oh, God, you said every plan which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted of God of heaven. I am asking tonight, whatever thing that the enemy planted, oh God, in our system, in our bodies, in our lives, oh God, it is for the root God of heaven by Almighty Father, rooted us tonight, oh God, I'm asking my Father God, in in the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father God, I must go again, O God. Let your mighty power begin to break on the shame or the yoke, my Father, will speak again tonight in Jesus' name. In the Lord, mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, you will say they can be free. Oh, mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, if it is free, it is free, spirit of God, I pray to church, oh God. Oh, mighty God, I must claim the church once again, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, righteous Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh, mighty God, I'm asking this is the church once again, by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
I don't know what's happening to this Zoom. Can you people hear me? Yeah. Yes, yes I can. can you. Oh, I've been shouting since. I mean, hey, man, hey, man. I was wondering what's happening. I was trying to check the setting. Okay. Now, we are going to, we are going to sing this song as we pray for ourselves, and then we pray for Nigeria. This song is very important. You say it after me. It's coming on my way. It's coming on my way. On my way. On my way. On my way. Coming on my way, coming on my way, on my way, coming on my way. Better miracle of the Lord. Amen. 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 We are going to pray. What is the desire of your heart? Be specific. Be specific. Be specific. What do you want? Pastor Matthew mm-hmm. asked God. Yes, My beloved, you you Pastor Matthew you asked God what you want. Pastor Shego, beloved, asked God what you want. Pastor, Shego, you want. Pastor, uh, Pastor, uh, Pastor Chris. The man of God, please ask what you want. Pastor Mike, if you are online, ask what you want. You know, Daddy Ali, ask what you want. Whatever you want, Pastor Bunny, ask what you want. Oh, what we know that I should do on the knees. Ask what you want. Ask what you want. Ask what you want. I want to have my father go. Oh my 
mighty focus your face to shine upon me concerning this matter, oh God. Lord, as your favor, oh star, oh God, be pushing us, oh God. Mighty God, I'm asking for divine favor. Special favor in your sight, oh God. All the resources needed, oh God, mobilize the resources of heaven. Oh my dear, my father, God, I'm asking for seeking, oh God. I'm bringing to pass, oh God. Mighty God, I'm asking my father, God, in the name of Jesus, in location, the exact place where you want to travel to go. Lord, I need a ration of God. Oh, mighty God, I need your living for God. The strength and the courage and wisdom of God to handle everything according to the pattern of God. Mighty God, can come from your God and ask me, my father was speaking, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Almighty God, I'm asking my father was speaking, oh Lord, this is all for the people to go. A great time of opportunity, my father God. Thank heaven for me from your sanctuary, my father God, on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to send heaven God. On every side, open the door, open the door, open the door. Let the door be open, my father God, on every side of God. Give me testimony, my father was speaking, oh Lord. Almighty God, in Jesus' name. Oh, dear father God, I am asking my father was speaking, oh Lord. That will demonstrate your Mighty part of my love, I was speaking for God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to pray for Nigeria. Before before I join the prayer tonight, we're watching something, one crime in one of the states in Nigeria, and the, how a neighbor was uh, a neighbor with, you know, just in a, in a and uh, this lady to shut down one apartment, and we'll be playing with children and all of that. And that's how doing. She just carry a neighbor to the two of them to carry the way to go and sell. They were just giving the analysis how she sold it to one agent. The person she sold it, in fact, they were just transferring the boy from that one. The one that one sold it to another man, and all it was terrible. Selling human beings, you need to see the huge amount of money they collected and all of that. I mean, this is the level of human of behavior that we find in Nigeria today. People are not trading on human We need them. <laughs> we want to pray right now that all these evil men and women who are trading on human beings in all the various states. Now, there was a video I saw. And in that video, a 60 years old man, that one, he specializes in uh, carrying the weapon to all the different locations where the people are. And because of his age, police naturally would not want to stop him. But he was caught this very day. And then they saw where all the various compartments where he kept big, big guns. And, and, and the way he was bringing those guns out of his car and all that. These are the evil things today. Networking is terrible because they are, they are eating so much money from it. We want to pray that whatever power they depend on, it will fail them. God Amen. Is, Amen. This, becoming so much in Nigeria. All the different states in this country, God will bring them out. God will disgrace them. God will disgrace them. They will be apprehended. They will be punished. The judgment of God will visit these people. They will turn away from this evil. Shall we talk to God in prayer? Mighty God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, everlasting Father, we look on you, God, concerning the situation of this nation, the situation of this 
Wicked men and women of God who have found and to continue in their wickedness to battle work. Oh God, I see God and put him as father God to go down to rescue this nation from the hand of this wicked individual. Oh God, I see God and ask him as father God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this nation be rescued from the hand of this individual. Oh God, that would not allow peace to reign, that would not allow joy and peace, that would not allow, you know, that would not allow people to stay in peace and in God. Mighty God, there is great peace that great this nation from the hand of God. By your mighty power, my Father, will speak in the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, and be strong good for the devil. Every every of darkness of God in this nation, my Father God, I'm asking of God, let it be broken by your mighty power. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father of Jesus tonight, in the name of Jesus. Oh, mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, bring all the yoke of the faith of the enemy to God. All the Baba Shalem, that are using this force to do all the evil. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Before we pray for Charlotte and hand over to Pastor Matthew, we want to pray one more time for this country. Election 2023 is very pathetic that some people are already strategizing for 2023. So they have not done anything about the one that they have been elected to do. I mean, the level of confusion and the level of... Uh, I, I cannot explain and another billions of naira we go into election again and all that. We want to beg God for this country. All the various people who are causing this wala. Now, as a matter of fact, average people cannot survive almost except by God. What is the family that is in 2002 now in Nigeria? Except they have to find a way to manage in one way or the other. The level of things to the end, we are not seeing any decision, anything being taken. But rather, when you hear these people talk, either in Senate or whatever, it is an issue that you may want to is this our problem. So it's like, Satan, I, I cannot explain it. The pain is so much. Uh, people are not happy. People are angry. People are unhappy. People are going through. We want to beg God. To come to the rescue of night. I don't have to leave them. I don't even have to leave the prayer now. But that God will just intervene. Father, we God. come that before that your throne, O Lord. Lord. my people, who shall call by my name, we humble themselves and pray. And cry unto you who hear from heaven and hear their land. O Lord, sincerely we come before you on behalf of this great nation, Nigeria. This is our own Jerusalem. Father, we pray, O Lord, that you are right for this nation, O Lord. Father God, arise for this nation, O Lord. O Lord, arise for this nation, O Lord. And you be a mighty thing, O Lord. In our lives, O Lord. In the name of O Lord. Mighty God, we are praying every plan of the enemy to continue to keep on going back there, to in bondage. Father, we come against them, we cancel and destroy them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, go in heaven and rise, O Lord. Father God, in heaven and rise, O Lord. Save your nation, Nigeria, Lord. Save our nation, Nigeria, Lord. Save our nation, Nigeria, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
because of your suffering, because of your children in this land, Father, have mercy on this land, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We worship our blessed your name. We have the joy of our adults. Father, 2036, the next for us, O Lord. Lead us after your own heart. We have suffered enough, O Lord. Father, 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 we have suffered enough, O Lord. You glorify yourself, O Lord, in the nation of Nigeria. Amen. You glorify yourself, O Lord, in the nation of Nigeria. Amen. Amen. Lastly, as I hand over to Pastor Matthew, we are going to pray for the church at Charlotte. And at the same time, we are going to pray for a particular prayer request that I've been talking about. Uh, issue of mother-in-law. There's a prayer request on that platform. We're going to pray right now and tell the Lord as we pray for church at Charlotte, we we'll also pray at the same time for that prayer request. When a prayer request is repeating itself over and over, it shows the seriousness of that prayer request. It shows what the person is probably going through. It shows the pain in the heart of that person. And if Sometimes some people say, I know what you are going through. They may not really know. It's like somebody who has lost a wife or the husband say, I, I understand your pain. No, you may not understand the pain really. But sometimes we use that language just to probably control the pain. There are pain that are scary. If this person is going through a lot, we need to step forward to intervene in that situation. And then we also need to pray for the church and charity as spiritually things will come to the point they also be. And numerically too, the people will leave their comfort zone and be willing to start forth. Yes, it's not just the maintenance of this so help the people so to get safe, go so we be established. And for some of we have people who we assist him so that the body will not be too much on him. Shall we go to God in prayer? Father in heaven, we commit church, O Lord, the child of him into your hands. We commit the entity of the church, Pastor Matthew Lord, to your hands. Father, we pray, O Lord, that you will lift up that church. You said, you said in your word, O Lord, that the days of your power, your people shall be willing. Father, we pray that your power be so mighty in the church of Charlotte, that the people be willing, O Lord, to serve you, so that you will bring more laborers into the vineyard, O Lord, to assist your beloved son, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. And after I request talking about Mother Indo, O Lord, to now we pray that you will settle that matter, Lord. Father God, you never settle that matter, Lord. O Lord, you never settle that matter, Lord. My Lord, the King settle that matter, Lord. In the name of Jesus, every weapon of the enemy for sending that mother in law in that house to make the, 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 the husband or the wife not to be comfortable in that house. Father, we destroy those weapon and we cancel them and we set those family free from the hands of you, eternal uh, people, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We say for this cause, a man leave his father and leave his mother and cleave to his wife. And they too shall become Amen. one. Father, may that family one, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I welcome everyone of us to the today's prayer. I pray that the grace of the Lord will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to encourage everyone of us that they, if possible, I don't like the way I call my name every day, but until I find solution to it, I will continue like that. Uh, Matthew Akamutu, uh, Charlotte, I mean, in YouTube, please let everyone of us uh, subscribe to it. Including all our leaders that is leading the prayer, so that we can able to go back to the prayer and we can see how God is using us, and we can see all area we need to be developed more, and all area we need to concentrate more, and God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, uh, number two, you can see that I made a lot of us who owes because I was that many times we are being carried away. Yeah, 
and then immediately you see any name that is waiting. Anybody that is in co I mean co host can click it and uh, the person will be uh, fully admitted to the conference. God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, we have a lot of messages too. GS message. You will see some messages like why. It's, they are very, very rich. Uh, word of wisdom. They are very, very rich. Uh, all of us that we are, let me call us old cargo. <laughs> I'm very sorry to use that word. Uh, in deeper life, we, we, we have been looking for all those kind of messages. We put them in Matua Kamo uh, or Deeper Life Bible Church. Please go back. Uh, when you say church is being watery, well, we have all those old messages. Go and listen to them. And God will continue to enrich us in Jesus' name. Amen. And we we'll go back Amen. to the prayer. I want you to observe that the ministry of the Palabra Church is a charity ministry. Uh, what do I mean by charity ministry? Uh, Elijah was not bothered about that woman when the woman came and then he asked him to go and borrow vessel and bring uh to the, to the effect that when all the vessel was sold the woman can use it to sell and take care of the family uh, the same thing in deeper life bible church as many people were coming you can see how all of us we are preparing uh, let me be sincere i'm online but some of us we discuss personally and then uh, where well, I'm not trying to say this thing to 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 claim point. Some of us, please, I want you to bear with me. This is a personal discussion. You will see. Sometimes we say the tree retreat is strenuous. I don't know. Maybe that language has come out for some of us who are workers, because by the time you go there. You walk to the extent that sometimes to carry your life will become ah, so difficult. If you are not somebody that is dodging yourself or you say, ah, just let me do the little I can do, other people will do it. I know some of us that we are working, we have been saying something like that. But when the outsider are receiving it as a charity, miracle, there's something people can reserve for us. We, the inner cause. And that's what Peter said. He said, what about us that let everything and follow you? You remember that one? Yes, all these people are receiving miracles from you. All these people are sharing testimony because of the grace that is deeper than the Bible, Bible Church. But what about us? That we go into the bush, we go and cut, and cut bamboo, we go into the into the kitchen, we are cooking. The heat in that kitchen is so high that I don't know how to manage myself. And a lot of things, I need to stand at the ocean for 24 hours, for around 24 hours. By the time I left the place, all my legs were telling me, to pay attention to the prayer of the pastor become a lot of challenges. But all these people, they are there. They are listening to the prayers. And they are receiving their miracle. I have something reserved for you. Jesus has said, Don't do not be happy about that one alone. That they are receiving miracles. We are thanking God. We are glorifying the name of the Lord. That they are coming to the Bible church. They are receiving their miracle. But you saw one thing. But be happy. Be, be, continue to rejoice. Because your name is being written down in the kingdom of God. Then, what is the source of your name is being written down because of God? All other things shall follow you. It not depend on your faith. It depends on the way you take it. It depends on the way you are looking unto God. You will not call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I will be the partaker of those people who are contributing to this retreat. Of those people who are doing a loss for the problem to succeed. Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. The blessing of my, my name is being written down in the kingdom of God. Oh, mighty Father, do not, do not let it elude me in Jesus' name. 
Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, welcome to the morning I donate. Welcome to the work I work. Welcome to the land, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the job. I leave my job. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. But I'm waiting for a prayer by the power in the blood of your life. The benefit of discipleship. The benefit of the benefit of the discipleship. Father, I pray by the power in the blood of your life. Do not let it elude me in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not let it elude me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For that prayer to be clear to us, I want to make one example for us in United States here. You know, when we go to the retreat, some of us will have to take about four days. Now, in United States, we are paying hours. When you go to work sometimes, you have basic hour of eight hours to, 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 to do. When you go to, to, to work sometimes, you may use about nine hours. You may use our time, or maybe they tell you to come early. But because you go to the retreat, by the time they want to pay you for going to the retreat, they will not pay you more than eight hours. That's when you lose that extra hours. Some of us, we are working in the afternoon. Some of us, we are working in the night. I just want to make a sample. So, the, when you work in the morning, that's the basic money. When you work in the afternoon, they pay extra money for work in the afternoon. When you work in the night, they pay amount, they pay extra money for work in the night. But it, but it's not like working in the afternoon. So when you go to the retreat, you lose all those extra extra money. Another thing is that you cannot you cannot do or you cannot do overtime. So what happens is that maybe you have been collecting four four thousand four hundred dollar. Why you do not go to the retreat? Maybe by the time you go to the retreat, you are going to collect about one thousand two hundred dollars. You get what I'm saying? You shot about two hundred. You shot about two hundred dollars. But you are working for some people to receive miracle. But God has never, never, never denied us. Why? Because we know we are working for Him. So it is for you to know, to depend, that you know that you are working and by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the, uh, the, the prayer of Jesus Christ, that not just rejoice, that this thing is being happening before you, but your name is being written down in the kingdom of God. Then what, when your name is being written down in the kingdom of God, what does that mean? Thinking for the kingdom of God and all other things shall be added unto you. So all other things is that what we are going to pray for now. And that the, the, the particular need of every individual is, is not the same. One pastor, your man is looking to establish himself. Pastor Martin may be looking for, for, for the family. Pastor Miss Rita may be looking for one thing to come in Korodu. Pastor Shago may be looking for another thing entirely. Pastor Jeffrey, Pastor Kisova may be looking for something to continue to enlarge, to enlarge his his ministry. That is all other things shall be added unto you. Now you know that particular other thing that you needed. That must be added up to you. You will call upon the name of the Lord. Father, as Peter said, we have got everything we have. We have surrendered everything we have. Here we are. We are before you. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. All the promises of all that thing you promised that it will be added up to me. Father, do not elude me, O oh Lord, before I come into the glory. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, this is my own challenge, and I pray by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, that challenge is going to be shown today in the name of Jesus Christ, he depends on your faith, 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 call upon the name of the Lord, call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, all of that things that is necessary in your ministry, for your ministry to go, for your ministry to be established, for your kingdom, for the, for the kingdom God has established in your hand to be good. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord on behalf of all the workers.
That the people know the secret. That the Bible say all other things shall be added unto you. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, all other things that they are yearning for, all other things that they are looking for, just because they have surrendered their life, they are planting and they are, the Apollo is watering, and God is blessing you in the ministry. But by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, your name is not going to be missed in the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. My my name is not going to be missed in the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. All of that shall be added unto you. 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 So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, please, just for two minutes, and I want to give you a sample of how God rewards his own people. Now, we want, I have shared this testimony, but because, of, because I want us to be praying for all the workers, that they are working rigorously for the success of all the programs, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, they will receive the favor of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. As we went to this meeting, then the region of us says that we must come, uh, there will be another meeting in the kids' thing. For the uh, for for what is it for the is for the single single retreat? Now it said there will be another meeting in Florida. And many of us we must have heard about Florida, Orlando. This I mean I was in Nigeria. I've been praying for this Florida. I come to America. I've not even know how to how to take a plane to the Florida just because of the economic situation. Now you said you you saw you saw my analysis. We lost about two hundred dollars. It was I and one of the workers in the retreat. We uh, we uh, analyzed those things. We are praying that by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, our coming to the kingdom will not be in vain. Now this is what happened. Immediately the uh, the GO all said, okay, some of you you must not put in, uh, do not be in shame. If you cannot sponsor yourself to the Florida, let me know. I just set up my hand. You know you you know your own woman. I'm, I was the only one. He said immediately you are sponsored. You know why? I lost two hundred dollars, but going to the Florida is going to cost me more than one thousand dollars. Which arrow is going to bear the responsibility? God returned my two hundred dollar, or he doesn't return it. He has returned it. That's how God works. He returned it in, in five folds, more than five folds. That's how God works. So it is depend on our faith that Father, as I'm working for you, O oh Lord, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus, my labor in the fire. As people who are coming after that, I receive this charity freely. My labor in the fire will not be even in Jesus' name. Let me give you another example. Pastor Yomi is dead. We are talking about ministry. I will not go deeply. But immediately I said this, Pastor Yomi will understand what I said. Deeper life Bible church is blessed. Why? Because we are charity miracle giver. And as a result of that, God is blessing the Palai Bible Church. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. All this worker, yes, I know. Many workers, when they are going through a lot, to change the shirt, uh, I don't want to say what I want to, uh, that is coming out of my life. Their, their jacket, ETC, I must, I they are out. But I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, God is going to reward every one of us in Jesus' name. And our labor of love will not be in vain in Jesus' name. And as a result of this, I will want Pastor Yomi to conclude for us. This way for us. Okay. Pastor Yomi? Okay. Okay. It's not there. I know Pastor Peter is. I'm hearing uh, his voice, but Pastor Shego, I know you are online. Please can you uh, round up for us, sir. I'll call you. I'll call you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our dear Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you, Father, for your wonderful investment in our lives. <laughs> Thank you for what you are doing in our days. Thank, mm, thank you for you. the way you are upholding every one of us by your grace and power. 
even though we are in the end time and so many challenges on every side, Father, we are asking and praying, oh God, you told us your word. He says, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. All other things, all these things shall be added unto us. Lord, we have, we have been seeking your face. Been looking upon you to live righteously, to live holily, to walk with you, to obey the word of God. Lord, I pray, look at other areas where we are still lacking left and right here and there. Whether physically, financially, materially, family wise, marital wise, Lord, we are praying, O oh God, you will attend to the needs of every one of us, O oh God of heaven, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, your one says, it says, for God is not unrighteous to forget our work and labor mm. of love in that we have ministered to the same and do minister. Father, we are praying, oh God, that Lord, in your love, in your mercy, you will open, you open the book of remembrance before every one of us, oh God, and attend to all our needs and grant all our heart desires in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, that God, all our pastors connected on this platform, and all our sisters, all our brothers, oh God, you know the desire of everyone, oh God, particularly as we are going to this program, this global crusade, that is being tax signs and wonder for the needy. I pray, oh God, meet everyone, oh God, in a miraculous way, at the very point of his own need, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We pray, Lord, let there be showers of blessing for us, O God. Amen. Showers of blessing for every member of the church in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We declare that this week, O God, it will be a week of celebration of your goodness and your mercies and your favor and your blessings upon every one of our lives and our family members in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, righteous Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Let's share the grace together. We shall meet them on my prayer in the night. Thank you. God bless. Let's share the grace together. May the grace, May the grace of, our of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love Amen. of God, and the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit be with us now Amen. and forevermore. Amen. 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 Surely, this is surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall be in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen. We are grateful, sir.